Hello, we are back for session three of finish that unfinished project, that oh, un unfinished object, UFO, right? And, yes. and, and why did we go there? Because all of us, how do we recognize what a UFO is? It's, it's all those things in our closet waiting for us saying, saying, please come finish me, please come finish me. So you guys have helped me. Um, we're going to see in a little while, but, but right now we're standing in front of a, a, a Bernina, the 890. The 890 it surger. Is a wonderful surgery. Now, surgery. the, the Bernina, Bernina company came out with this air threading surger that not only is it an air threading surger, but it, it actually has a computer inside of it that will set up your machine for you. All you have to do is tell it what you want to do, and it will go, okay. We'll and it prompts you and it prompts you the 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 guidelines if you will there's over 27 stitches in there there's memory in there so you can do all sorts of things it's a no fail system especially with the air threading for your loopers and it will pick your tensions for you so it's fantastic right and so why are we talking about this right because now because we have pam man she is coming she is the bernina premier educator the head of worldwide, the head of surgers with Bernina. That is correct. And we are going to have her here in the store in April, April 7th and 9th. This is a do not want to miss event. That's we are so excited to have her. If you ever wanted to da dabble in surger, in the surger world, this is your chance. So, and it's going to be in store live with Pam in the store live. So, right. two, and two full April days. April 7th and april 9th so that's a wednesday and a friday i believe yes. isn't that correct yes, yes. yes. so uh I'll come all come many and we have a few spots enjoy. left you don't yes. want to miss out give yes. us a call to enroll um if you listen to linda z we have we, we we're, we'll make room for you we'll make room for you right absolutely all right so thank you so much for that so that's yes. what what we're going to be showcasing at the event um and uh now we're going to move over to the long arm. Ooh. And the reason we have our masks on is because we're actually in the store today. We're not at our studio. We're not at our video studio. So if you're wondering about that, yeah. we're wearing all of our beautiful um, <laughs> masks. You guys have beautiful Easter ones on. Yes. And uh, it's the bunnies. I wear the yeah, bunnies. Like oh, bunny. that's great. So come on over. We'll go to the uh, long arm right now. All right. So here we are at the long arm, the Bernina long arm. I love this machine. Um, I, I, if you've ever come in the store, you realize that. Um, in my uh, the home, my perfect ideal home, I, the, the, there's a room for it. This this actual frame in my in my home, I love this one so much. Um, so what I've done is I've set up my placemats. So you guys you guys helped me get this project completed, and I've got four placemats across my long arm. And what I wanted to explain to you is how I how I did this. So you don't have to use a long arm for just quilts. You can use a long arm for smaller projects as well. Um, so what I did was I took two half yard pieces of my backing and I sewed them together down the middle. So this is salvage here and the salvage is on the other end over there and there's salvage over here too. So you can see that with one yard of fabric, I can get four placemats of back, worth of backing. And then uh, f at first I thought I would cut two pieces of batting or a piece of batting per uh, placemat. And then I was like, oh, well, I can just cut a big piece for these two over here. So I, so you, I could have cut one piece of batting across these four um, uh, and then just trimmed it after I unpinned it. So this is the, my backing is pinned to my leader cloths here and uh, the two leader cloths. The, my, my, uh, and so we're, we are pretty much ready to go. I did a trial on the first placemat over here. So you can see I've already quilted one. And uh, that is not free motion. I know I'm... I'm learning to be good, but I'm not that good. This is definitely using the robotics, the Q-matic robotics from the Bernina long arm. And um, so why don't I show you how I created that over on the screen, that design. So I was looking through all of the built-in designs. There are so many built-in designs in, within the Q-matic system. Um, and so I brought up this one called Smoke. Because for me, it's like waves crashing in the sea, and I've got sailboats over there. I mean, I don't want too many waves for a sailboat, right? They want smooth sailing, but they also need wind. So here we are. That's my sea and wind, and, and so that's, that's how I've created that. So I chose one of the, this is the unique design by itself. And then I multiplied it six times, one, two, three, four, five, six across. And then I measured my placemat, 
my placemat is 19. It's, it's, it can fit it within 19 inches from start to finish on each row. And then I know that my rows are about three inches, but I made them, if you can see, um, this is selected now and I can just tell you the size. It is 19 by, and then 11.6 for all four rows going down. So this is gonna cover my entire placemat. I did go around to my placemat and I checked that all of my edges are gonna be within uh, where I want to stitch. So on these two sides, I do go off a little bit because I like to have a continuous uh, feeling and I will cut that, them off afterward. But uh, let's, let's just go, shall we? So here we are, I'm gonna press go. It's gonna come up with a little dialogue. It's gonna say, would you like to start at start? Yes, let's go. So let me come over to the machine. The head is going to move on the motor system. I don't know if you can get a shot of underneath here. There is a motor underneath that's attached to the carriage and there's a second motor over to the right um, that is attached to the other axis of the, um, car of the carriage. And so these cables right here, one here and one on the top of the carriage are the ones that are moving it in the X and the Y axes as, um, so you can do the look mom, no hands of our, with our frame here. So here I am, it, the, the machine did now move over to my start point. I'm gonna grab onto my tail, do the knot. Knot it again a couple times. And then up here, I just press go, go. Oh, I'm gonna pause it for a second because I do like to have eight stitches per inch and not 10. There we go. And so now it's gonna go over here. It's gonna start going. And I could really just go get a coffee, you guys. So as this continues to stitch out here all by itself, what we would like to do is to show you the floor of our lovely store here, Linda Z's, right, Mary? Yes. Mary's right over Hi. there. So we've got, this is actually in our long arm and serger room is where we are right now. Um, and we've also got some of our Juki products. Our Juki. Also, and Baby Lock over here, Baby Lock on this side over here. Oh, you want to walk over there? Sure. All right, we'll walk over there. This is our uh, Bernina sit down with the horn lift so uh, you can see how high this table can go. It's a lift table that's electronically liftable and you can lower it down to a 29 inch height as well. So you can sit down or, or you can stand, stand up. up and do your, uh, your quilting like this. And I, I just love this table. So awesome. So then we have uh, our uh, baby lock and we have our, all of our koala cabinets here. Shall we? More continue. baby lock. Didn't, didn't we count how many machines do we have in here? Uh, in Just this room the alone, I think we counted over 40. Mm -hmm. Right, so, and this is the smaller room, guys. So um, you can so see that our showroom is very large. Baby locks and our sergers, our notions. We have some notions here, and we have the entire collection of the by any uh, patterns on the wall here, so that's pretty, pretty awesome. Yeah. Get all the samples I know we've got. I know we're trying trying <laughs> to find a better way to display, to display all of the them. samples, but we basically have made one of everything that by any at least one of everything that by any has created in her patterns, which is awesome. We have more koala cabinets, and our juki uh, juki section is here, on top of the cabinets, and we have the juki frame as well. Awesome, and here. Down. We are one of the lucky How few stores to have received this. If you want to come around here, Nikki, this is the new. Juki Platinum 2020 limited edition. Limited edition, only which 2000, is a platinum color. I think only 2,000 in the United States or in the world, maybe. Right? No, I don't. Yeah, I think yes. that it's it's the it's limited. production is very it's limited. limited. So if you love that color, go for it. I know you're getting one right now. I am getting one, yes. Because <laughs> I have the one, she the has previous the, one, the 18. Right, that she's been showing uh -huh. on her Thursday morning video. And we video. did just get these in, and the new top of the line Juki is also here, the DX4000. It's lovely, wonderful, the Kokochi. So here, and over here then, we're, we're entering into the Bernina world for the domestic machines as well. And what I'd like to show you in here is the special um, buy one, get one free offer that Bernina has nationally made. Oh, we can click on the machine, why not? Um, so there's a 790 with the Ann Lauer beautiful 
um, design on the faceplate of it. This actually does come with embroidery. We just don't have enough room here on the table to display them both. But with the, the embroidery unit? The 790 uh -huh. does come with the embroidery unit. And then the sewing only 480 is the, uh, the, the one that we, you would get with when you buy the big so one, you, can, you get the little sister. Right, so for you free. can be embroidering on that uh -huh. while you're sewing on this, or it's a good travel to class machine. So then this. A great gift for a sibling or a daughter. Great. Oh, I great. don't know if I would gift it to somebody. I'd have to love I, them at all. Well, you'd be Why? surprised. Some I people take... would. I know, you're well, right, I'd though. You're right. <laughs> no, but a lot of people do think like they that. They do. And, they uh, do give their it. grandchild, or, or they, uh, they let their grandchild use it at their home while they're using the big sister. They, yes. they have the little sister out for their guest or for someone else who's actually sewing in the home. So this package actually comes with luggage for both machines, right? So you have the rolling tote for the machine, and you have the luggage for the embroidery arm for the big machine. And then and you, you have, have the a... luggage, the rolling tote here, over here for the little um, 480. Which is not that little, actually, but it's, no, a, it's a great, correct. great machine for travel. Wonderful. Over here, we have Madeline, who is going to show us the top-of-the-line brother machine, which is the Luminaire, the XP2. XP2. This right. is a wonderful machine uh, by brother. Um, what we decided we would do, we scanned this image. So it doesn't look like a peep makes you hungry, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> um, or it's for chocolate. <laughs> uh, we scan that into the machine. This machine has scanners and cameras. It's so smart. Well, and what we did is we added and brought, we stippled. And the, the best thing about the brother, one of the many things it has, it has these quilting fills, many of them. So quilters love this as well. So it's not just embroidery. So you can see. So you got to pick those different. We did. We got to pick the different fills, and we picked stippling for the inside of the bunny. Um, we can give you a, what we ended up making was this wonderful table runner, which is perfect for spring. For and Easter, spring. yes. For Easter and spring. <laughs> and spring. Very cheerful. Right. Uh -huh. And if you come into the store, we could tell you and give you a thorough demo on this and how we did this. Because what else can you make also on the machine? You can make the label that's on the back. Ah, yes. There you go. Very simple embroidery as well. Mm -hmm. This is, we would <laughs> love to show you and give us a call. We could give you a demo on this machine and show you the details that it does as long as the others. And then we have a special with this as well with this machine. Okay. Right, because what are we doing? We're, we're doing a spring into spring sale. <laughs> correct, <laughs> correct. So we have a lot right. of specials and a lot of different bundles. Absolutely. All you have to do is call the mm -hmm. store. Call the store or we'll come right you. on in. We'll yeah, be happy to show in. you. Even That's better. absolutely right. So come on over this way. We're going to show you another brand that we carry, which is the Foff brand. There's a lot of brothers here, huh? We yes, have a are. lot of brothers here, that's true. And um, that's why I used the term sister in the Bernina land, because we have brothers and sisters. <laughs> and, oh, you're going to go all the way around. So, so what we're coming to is the Faf icon. And if you didn't know, sorry, Mary, I'm getting in the way. We, we have um, specialty stitches that are built into the Faf uh, machines as well. And the top of the line um, icon might right now we made this project with a zipper around it you doing the embroidery and the circular functions that are built into the software of the machine so you could create this circle and this was also created inside the machine by using one of those shapes and creating a circle and adding more of those shapes around and then with the satin stitch and then it was actually an entire project built in the hoop in the embroidery machine of this so it's a really cute little project and then we took the same idea and we decided to um, create using those that same uh, function of using a circular in the machine in without having to go to software. That is correct. And so this is another table runner uh, project that we're working on using the FAF. And right on behind that is the brochure for the new FAF Icon oh, Two, yeah. which is due to arrive in July. But we are taking pre-orders. We are taking pre-orders. So yes. if you're interested in that, or if you're interested in the the previous top of the line, the the Creative Icon, the first one, um, you can get a very special price on the first one, Call and the you can or then come in. and then trade up to the Icon Two uh, with uh, getting back all the money Correct. that you spent on Correct. the Icon One. If you want to get your machine before July, is what I'm saying. And you also want to get the And that's a good way to too. do it, yes. Mm -hmm. You could be sewing now, learning the machine, 
until the Icon 2 comes out. That is correct. So we also carry Viking, and we have a whole lineup of the Faf and the Vikings. And our special that we wanted to show you today is on the Designer Brilliant 80, which is right here. Just... Here we go. And... So this is a beautiful machine. They have a whole lineup of machines as well. Um, Viking has their own specialty stitches also. If we could see some of the, like over here to the right on their top of the line, um, you can create really cute decorative stitches in the um, sewing mode of the machine. So it just, it's incredible. You just do, this. it's a multi-step program. And then this is another one that is very cute. So it's like doing 3D dimensional uh, uh, decorative stitches. So this is in the sewing part of the machine. And you can actually bring this over to the embroidery in the hoop as well, but it's actually in the sewing. And then you have the ribbon, the ribbon attachment that you can create um, all of these. Real, they, I think, what did she say? Close to over 100 designs yes, now are on yes. the MySonet library for Viking and for Faf now. So uh, once you are a member of that my Sonet Library World, um, you can really go to town on some of these exclusive uh, features of the Viking and, of the, and or the Fox. And, and the Fox, mm -hmm. correct. So, um, should we keep... Should, should we show the fabric room? And we, then, uh, we, ask if they want the to smaller the fabric model? room. We, yes. can show, we can show our first floor fabric room, which is this way, so come with us. So in here, we have this entire wall of batik fabric which they're made in Indonesia or India. And we love batiks here at Linda Z's. We also um, have some wide back batiks, which are hard to six, find. They're 60 inch wide. The 60 inch uh -huh. wide. Yep, those are 60 inch wide batiks. And um, we do have some, a few of the, well, a few. We have a wall of 108 inch wide backings over on the other side. And there are a few batiks that are in that collection. This is all flannel here. A lot of beautiful flannel, almost looks like suede, our, our flannels from Moda. So we have, uh, I love those, and I keep, I keep replenishing them because I just love those I, solids. <laughs> Aren't they great? <laughs> yes, yeah. they are, and I thank you because I happen to enjoy the flannels. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So um, this is, how would you like to, now that you've seen the fabric on the first floor, how would you like to go see our second floor? So we will ask them, and if they get comments, we'll do it in a future video. And we'll do that in a future, in a future video. video. Okay. So, right, so you can make a comment on this video if you'd like to see the upstairs. And we would be happy to show you that on another video. So I did want to step back here to the frame to just go back because, you know, bring it back to where we started, basically. Correct. And um, it's the placemats. And I just wanted to mention that um, I could have done the way Jane and Sue Ellen did uh, eight placemats all in one piece. And I could have created a sort of fake sashing in between all of my eight placemats. And I could have put them all together on one frame so that it was over the edge here. Of, of the, so I could have had eight placemats here. And then I could have created my design to, for all eight placemats in one full in sweep. one full swing, wow. And then I would have had to advance the quilt um, for the second group of four mm -hmm. um, because this, this is only doing the one, one row of the, the uh, placemats right now. But see, there's all kinds yeah. of ways different to do options. these things in different, different options. options. What I was doing is I was, I was being in a hurry, right? As, as, as we, we are, are, right? And I wanted to do one placemat first so that I had one done before you all uh, were able to see this for the filming. And um, that's, so that's what you get for doing that. So it's going to take me a little bit longer because I will have to now place each placemat um, where, it's, where it's seated before and... That's just what and I started on the roll. Yes. Started, started okay. on each and placemat and separately. So you have them your out. choice. So I have my choice. So, that is correct. The project, the and the so once I'm done, yeah. so once I'm done with the quilting of all of my placemats, then I will bind them. So I'll take them off the frame. I will separate the backing between each placemat, and I will bind them. And where can they refer to? And they, the they actually, you're right. We did do a video with Linda. Linda did a binding video. Beautiful video. So you can refer back to that video we'll because, put a link on top, yeah. and we will put a link. Good. That'll, that would be good. Wow. It's so good. I have my, my son, Nicholas here. And we, because he is, he's the one who's putting like the links the in. Yes. We like he's, the filming. He's awesome. So thank you all. Thank you all again. And have thank a lovely you. day. And come on in and see the store. That's right.